look how wide that is. It would have been a wide had it left it alone. And he slices it because the, the fielder at third. Hello. Look how wide that is. It would have been a wide had it left it alone. And he slices it because the, the fielder at third. A very wide delivery. Wit, uh, Wit punished by Kellogg Dyer, who continues to make merry in the power play. It's a boundary to close the second over. It's 14 for one. Boundary to close the second over. Again, that width on offer right out of the middle. Very still when making contact at her Ali Khan. It's a stand and deliver kind of a shot. It was not full. But it sits up nicely. And again, the width. Ronit Talukda seems to be in read. Not to go to the pitch of the delivery and also hitting uh, from the bottom part of the bat. Just, oh, nearly lost it in the end. But a good grab, second time around. Change in bowling. Curtis Kampfer replaces Mark Adair, who hasn't bowled much in the T20 series. It was towards that man who's really been in action, isn't he? It's a deep backward point as opposed to a, a deep third. Choikat uh, standing in his uh, 100 uh, international match. Uh, congratulations to him. Gazi Sohail, the other umpire. And his 22nd T20 international. Short ball pulled away. One bounce to the fence. He's still not learning their trade in terms of how to bowl, even though they put a bit of a pressure by picking up two wickets. You've got to apply a little bit more pressure. Easy pickings for Ronnie Talagda. Maybe just a little surprised that Mark Adair didn't continue. Picked up a wicket in his first over. It's probably the Irish bowler that generates the most movement, whatever movement you do. Man out there. Gone. And that's number three. Ireland have picked up three in the power play. And that bowling change has worked. Curtis Camper strikes, and it's Adair that takes the catch. Ireland definitely on top now. Every batter has got, got been dismissed by trying to play a big shot. And the, finding the fielder. This time it's a deep mid-wicket off a seamer. Well taken right into the palm. It's a successor for Camfer in his very first over. Ronnie Talukda. It's what Paul Sterling has spoken about at length, the standing captain. And the youngster, the 22-year-old, in just his sixth T20I comes... Edged and edged just wide of Lorcan Tucker. Would have gone straight to first slip. It could easily have been a fourth wicket. Tector continues to cause problems. The Tigers are living dangerously. Yeah, he went really after it. Ridoy making room and an edge, but it flew past the keeper. No chance for the keeper. Big hit. Uh, that's going to go all the way. Fearless, youthful approach from Tewid Ridoy continues to impress. That's an almighty strike. No fortune about that one. Well, they're not holding themselves back, even though they've lost three wickets. That is a cracking shot from uh, Ridoy. 74 meters. So we'll have to wait. Delightfully done. Very, very well controlled shot. Shakib Al Hassan knows the situation. He can just uh, play the ball to its merit, and when it's there to be hit, he's going to punish it. 
There is the width. That is what Ireland want to avoid. Width. Shakib al Hassan will punish you all day. He drags that straight to the fielder. Once again, it stood up. Shakib al Hassan trying to get a move on and uh, no problems. Another wicket down. Bangladesh in a whole lot of trouble. Well, they may hold their heads. On another day, in another international, Shakib hits this over mid-wicket for four, for six. But this time, he picks out mid-wicket. Adair has his second. Ireland have their fourth. And for the first time in a long time, Bangladesh showing trouble at 41. For in the domestic circuit, just into his 15th match. He's got his work cut out. Best of 31, not out. Coming at a right-hander. It's wide of off stump, and it just keeps turning away from him. In the end, presents Harry Tector with a very simple catch at mid-wicket. Yes, Paul Sterling, you are on top as Tawad Rudoy goes for 12. They're in a heap of trouble. 41 for 5. The debutant, Rashad Hussain, comes in. And uh, you should know a bit about the bowling himself. Yeah, I hear a lot of people saying an approach needs to change, that approach needs to change. But this was spoken about in previous internationals. Well, you can see they're going to continue in the same vein. What a clout that is. That is struck superbly right over the top. Seven overs have been completed. It's 47 for five. Smashes that past the fielder. That is a superb shot. It's not a freaky shot. It's not a risky shot. Really clouded that and went along very quickly to the boundary. It's just a slap, isn't it? And it's not an off drive or a square cut. 15 love. It's the straw pull, the straight pull. I know that they've told the world they're going to play. Reverse. It's going to trickle across. And very difficult for the keeper to stop that. Six to one for five. And it's clean him up first ball. What a way to start your T20 international career with a wicket. Excellent stuff by this young man, Humphreys. For the first time, Matthew Humphreys gets to bowl in a situation which would be more suitable for him. In the One Day Internationals, he came on to bowl in very difficult circumstances. Here, his team is on top. He gets it straight. He says, you miss, I hit. And Richard obliges. And so, the man making his debut. A deliberate effort in the nets to improve his batting in the recent past. <laughs> he swung his bat. Now that's going in the air. There's a fielder lining up, and he's caught him. That is not the right approach. Throwing his bat straight away, and Bangladesh, well, I think uh, they've become a little complacent in their attitude, and uh, it's not working for them at all. Well, it may not be the right approach, but this is the approach that they're taking. This is what Bangladesh feel will take them forward in global cricket particularly in this format of the game but this young man has his second and Tuscan he doesn't trouble this just feel that just the wickets falling this is not out pitching or set the leg go back to on field Gazi you are on the screen stay with your that's a cracking shot that was full, and he's taking advantage of it. Down the ground, two covers for four. Yeah, it's a, it's a low full toss. Not a low full toss, it was just a wide full toss. And he was in business. Thumped it away through the covers for the boundary. Yeah, they will get opportunity. Going for the reverse, will find the gap. He connects it so well, does Shamim Hussain. One bounce for four. 
Yes, he made debut for Bangladesh against Zimbabwe at Harare in July 2021. Shamim Hussain. That's a really good pick up reverse. Got selections have been good. He looks a little bit more calm, doesn't he? If you compare him with the rest of the batters who have come, come and gone uh, back uh, to the pavilion. 3 6. Bangladesh in bilateral. They've only lost to Pakistan since 2020. Drawn up with Afghanistan. The rest they've won. That is a very good track record at home for them. Up and over, just over. And he just uh, finds the boundary. The bowler had his uh, hands on his head. He thought he, there might have been a wicket, but it's a boundary to the relief of the fans. A few on hand coming back into the attack. Marketer at mid on almost had it. It was full, it was there to be hit. Nasumab at this time took his chance. Oh, very close, just whiskers away from the fingertips. Right on top. And just like that, the eight wicket partnership is broken. The softest of dismissals chipped straight to the cover fielder. Ireland of eight. Amazing how a game can be so different from one day to the next. A couple of days ago, this would have just missed extra cover and raced away for four. But now it just finds the safe hands of the Irish captain, Paul Sterling. So Nassim. Edged and taken. Adair strikes. Going to be a long way to 135 now. Just one wicket needed. And Ireland are sensing a victory. And the crowd silenced. That it will. That it will. He has a habit of taking wickets. He gets lots of wickets. Mark Adair at T20 cricket. He finds the outside edge. 104 for nine. Taylor's bowlers. Extraordinary stroke. Shot of the innings, maybe shot of the series, in fact. It's a switch hit, a reverse scoop, whatever you want to call it. It's gone all the way for six. Well, the wickets column has said to Shamim, it's time for me to show you the type of strokes that I do have. What a shot this is. Not only skillful, but brave. Into the sky, there's a man out there. Gone over his head, Harry Tector flies athletically to try and cut off the boundary. Was looking for the Yorker, it turned into the full toss. And Shamim is eyeing a maiden international 50. Just been praising him. Deserved what it got. Didn't middle it, but got enough. Over his shoulder, and put down. It's going to run away for four. It is going to be that maiden 50 for young Shamim Hussein, 22 years of age. What a time to do it. The back's against the wall. A critical innings, he's given the Tigers a real chance. He stood man alone today given an opportunity to show his hand and he's doing just that it just gets away from Humphreys at short fine leg he should hang on to it though he should hang on to it out towards the man and taken Hyun hand leaps with delight he's a real cult hero for a reason he'll always give you 100% Fionn hand he has a fourth t20 international wicket and it's a pretty critical one. That's the difference between maybe 124 or what could have easily been 140. And all seven Irish bowlers use now have a wicket to their name. The best performance of the tour thus far for the men from Ireland. Everything fell into place for them today. And the ball went to hand just when they needed it. And you rightly point out a critical wicket. If that's a big over. <laughs> That would be quite tricky. Now they just need someone, someone to take responsibility, get a half century, an unbeaten 60, and they should have their first victory. But in the end, Bangladesh bowled out for 124.